Okay, these conspiracies today, I'm not gonna lie. They're floppities. No, they're actually really <laughs> good, but they're kind of like intense. So I'm just letting you know, if you're not a conspiracy oh. head, you can leave the room. Okay. Because we're about to get into some <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay, really quick before the show starts, I'm just really excited because I want to show you guys something that just came in. We finally have grower and farmer t-shirts. Yay, so we have the black with the red, we have a baby blue shirt with red print, and then we have the classic green farmer t-shirt. So hopefully you guys enjoy them. I know a lot of people would rather have a shirt than a sweatshirt, so we wanted to have that option. And yeah, if you get them for you and your husband or you and your boyfriend, or hey, if you're lesbians, we love that around here, make sure to take a picture and send it to us so we can put it in the show. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you enjoy the show, bye. Hey, welcome back to whatever the hell this is. Oh my God edition. <laughs> oh, we haven't even started the show and Lizzie's already said five things I have to cut out. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? Here's my thing for this new year, for 2024. 2024, censor no more. We are not censoring on this show. I we are saying whatever we want on this show. We are offending whoever we want on the show. Uh, we Lizzie said something ho so horribly awful today and then said, well, it's a small community. It doesn't matter, right? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I don't think I said anything about it. It was about conjoined people. <laughs> Oh my God! Icons, oh, Abby and Brittany. They're gonna band together and really protest you. I see what you did there, Jared. Oh, my. Two heads is better than one, right? Okay. You know what? I go back. Never mind. We're censoring. We're not saying anything <laughs> offensive, and we are not getting canceled this year, guys. I gotta go. I did actually see a few comments recently saying you guys have toned it down too much. Like you guys used to be more offensive, and I was like, for me to get those comments is crazy. <laughs> That's but wild. I guess we need to step it up. <laughs> I'm like, I guess, you know, the first episode of the show, we were talking about Chick-fil-A. We were talking, you were doing gay voices. Yeah. We really have scaled back. Why did I stop? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know. Me neither. Let's do a whole episode where you're gay. Let's do it. <laughs> I, I'm wearing this nice bear shirt, you know? I like oh it. Oh my God, I already planned for it. Perfect. Yeah. Perf. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, Auntie? Or what is it? Hunt, hunty. Hunty. Oh, that's, hunty. That's what it is. <laughs> I still don't know what that is, but I'm I'll say it. I'm just so heterosexual, I didn't understand. Oh, okay. So here we are. Welcome back. Um, this is a mess. I'm not going to lie. I'm on one right now. I woke up feeling not good. I feel like I'm floating. Spencer, he's, you can hear him. He just got, got over the nightmare flu. I don't know what I have. Does anybody else feel weird? I, I took a day quill. I'm fucked up. What? I'm Suddenly fucked up. I'm scared. You, this is a pregnant woman, and you're telling her that everyone Everyone around her is sick. Oh my God, don't give away. <laughs> oh, well oh. now I guess we'll just give it away. Guys, Lizzie Gordon is pregnant. <laughs> Thank you. It's I did it. I mean, it's Pro not confirmed. Wait, what? No, I was no, no. what? I'm we projecting. I was actually projected to be a girl. They, I, I want to say, say mom actually had a baby shower for me as a female. Jasmine. Jade. Jade. What? Yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to be Jade. Yes. That is sexy. I was yeah. going to be a woman too. For real? Yeah, I wouldn't make that up. Wow. I don't know. Yeah. My mom brought pink blankets and outfits to the hospital. And they were still appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Sorry, we got way off topic. Lizzie, you're pregnant. This is huge. I cried when I found out. This is a big deal. Thank you. I was pretty excited. Okay, so uh, <laughs> tell us, how do you feel different? Like, we want to live through you because, like, we didn't experience it, you know? It's low-key awful. <laughs> but also at the same time, for me, I like it being awful because then I really know I'm pregnant. Aww. Like I kind of keep going th through this like weird disassociation where it's like, you're not pregnant. And it's like, no girl, like you're very pregnant. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I have a question about this because you are kind of an offensive person. <laughs> I don't wanna, I'm not framing you to be like It's this. fair. That's why there has to be cuts in today's podcast because I still want our podcast to go on and on and on. And if she gets canceled, then what am I going to do? <laughs> I do have other things like I just I feel inherently bad for anybody and because I just see them all as a baby Wh yes. what I and so that. yeah so it's like if somebody's suffering I'm like oh fuck man that's someone's kid right and it's sad. Yeah, this is a side note, and this is delving into offensive territory, possibly. That's good. That's what we're going for. Okay, yeah. Good. yeah. That's good. So I actually have been having trouble watching porn because what? I think everybody was somebody's child. I get that. Whoa. Like, oh, that guy. How often once were you watching porn? Whoa. Never, ever. <laughs> so I 
I actually don't know what you're talking about. But no, I really, it is weird. And even like with- What are you searching when you watch porn? <laughs> I mean, it depends, like nothing crazy. <laughs> a lot of like homemade couples in love. You That's know? beautiful. Yeah. Nerd. I think I'm really mad at you right now. Uh-oh. That's fun. <gasps> Uh-oh, here we go again. Fight with Shane and Ryland. Fight with Shane and Ryland. Shane and Ryland. Anyway, so away from this. <laughs> Do you not watch porn? Not really. Whoa. He actually isn't lying because when I, early on in the relationship, when I'd get really anxious and nervous, like, oh, he's going to leave me. I don't have a six pack. I would go into his phone and see what porn he was watching. Because I was like, let me just see like what he's doing. I know that sounds like really bad that I was doing that, but you knew I was doing that. And I found, like, I went to his safari and I just started typing in like gay. Cause I was like, maybe something will pop up and I'll know. I've done that. <laughs> see, cancers. And then what popped up was it literally he just Googles hot gay porn and then just clicks on the first thing. That That's literally the most is all generic. And That's I was like, the Rylandest <laughs> thing ever. That's like being hungry and putting in Google Maps like food. <laughs> That's literally yes, Ryland. Yes, Ryland's like, literally. I'm hungry. And then he's like, oatmeal. <laughs> yes. Hey, I'm a simple guy. And I love you for it. I was honestly hoping, I was like, oh, I hope I find like fat Big fat gay porn. Like, I feel better about myself, but nope, nope, just a bunch of six pack guys. Anyway. So Chris, you said you do you do that currently? Do you go into your dude's phone and look up what he's looking at? No, not currently. I did oh. in the past though, and for, apparently for good reason. Apparently my gut was telling me something. Like, What'd you find? Oh, well, this is the previous previous relationship. Uh, gotcha, yes, gotcha. Yes, yes, yes. Was it super specific? Like cheat? How to cheat on your boyfriend? No. <laughs> how to get away with it? Yes, <laughs> no. I mean, it's just all Pinterest pages of cheating. <laughs> I'm like, I think there's something going on. How did we get here? <laughs> We're just about being pregnant. Well, it all makes sense. It's got, you know what I mean? It all makes sense. Yep, started with some sex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've had sex. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like we're all warmed up. We're all ready to go. And I have a surprise for us. Actually, <gasps> no, it's not. You uh, all know what's happening. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, we're bringing back the game of shame. The game of shame. shame. I like to put extra cheese whiz on my Oreos. Shit. Why am I shame. dripping wet? I actually enjoy the smell of my farts. Shame. 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 <laughs> I think about my teacher during sex. Shame. 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 Tell us the truth so we can judge you. The game of shame. <laughs> Oh, Fire. So good. I'm just... So good. Um, okay, so I have a treat. So we're going to play the game of shame again. Once again, Spence will break down the rules for you guys. If you haven't seen, we did this two episodes ago, and I loved it so much. And there was a lot of comments saying, you guys should just do a whole show doing these. We're not going to do that today, but we'll do more of them if you want. There's a lot of shame involved. <laughs> There's a in, lot. In this, in this room. So I think we could do that. And I thought I wouldn't have any. I was like, I feel like I'm out. Like, I don't have any secrets left. And then I thought of some, and I was like, oh, no, we're back, baby. Yes. But we're back. So before we get to the rules, let me explain the prizes <gasps> slash punishments oh. depending on how you're feeling today so for whoever loses they have to try something that i found um that i can't believe is real <clears throat> so these are potato chips and one of them is penis flavored and one of them is Yum. vagina flavored so chris what? if you lose you're getting a pussy, <laughs> a pussy <laughs> potato chip uh jared <laughs> Wait, how? What? I have no idea. I found them on eBay. They're from Canada, which I thought was kind of weird. Yeah, literally, potato chicks dip flavored. Oh. They have no preservatives, wild taste. This is not sponsored. I wish it was. <laughs> that would be everything. Oh my God, just sprinkle some on your skinny pasta. You know, girls. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll be trying the penis and pussy chips later. Uh, Spencer, do you want to break down the rules of the game of shame? Yeah, it's the, everyone is going to have a little whiteboard next to them, I think. And so essentially, I'm going to read out. I got some confessions from everyone, and I'm going to read out a confession. Everyone's going to talk it out, try to guess who it is. They're going to write down the name of who they think it is. I'm going to count down from three, reveal, and then if you get it right, you're going to get a point, and that's about it. You get it wrong, you're eating a penis chip. Yep. Oh, no. Yeah. I realized last time my face gave away that I was lying because I'm bad at it, so I'm covering it. I'm covering oh, it. Oh, I time. can't see anyone's faces. <laughs> Why? And I don't have my glasses on. Oh. Yeah. Get some contacts. Grow up. I know. All right, you guys ready for the first one? The first First shame, first confession shame. Yes. When I was younger, I almost lit the school library on fire. Chris. Oh. Ooh, that is a Chris thing for that sure. That is such a Chris thing. He <laughs> did carry a pocket knife on him. That could also here. be Lizzie though. She is fiery. Ooh. Ooh. She's a nightmare. <laughs> All right, everyone got a name now? Three, two, one, flip. Lizzie. 
We have... It's me! I knew it! I am no a liar! I knew we'd all blame that on Chris. Wow. <laughs> wait, no, everyone what? blamed it on Lizzie. Yeah. Wait, wait, what's going on? What did you do? Well, there's a cool trick you can do. I don't uh, promote that you do it unless you're in a backyard with water around. But if you take a box of matches, like the little clip box of matches, oh. and you flick it with your finger like yeah. this, you could fling a match. And when I was younger, I was like in the fourth or fifth grade. And remember the school book fairs? Yes. yes. Yeah, so we were walking over to the library to the book fair, and I was showing a couple of my buddies, and I flicked one and it caught the edge of the carpet of the library and it actually started in Golfin and we stomped it out and I got detention. <gasps> oh, <Pat's laughs> yeah, you saved then, the day. Well, they, they, they called mom and they said, hey, you know, your son, he was lighting matches and he almost got the library on fire. And then mom literally said, well, I don't know why you let him have matches. <laughs> and then just like, well, what are you going to, and Whoa. then they asked, well, what are you going to do about it when he gets home? And she just said, well, you gave him detention. What else do you want me to do? Damn. Gangster. Yeah, I was a badass that day. So did anybody guess Jerry? Yeah, Lizzie, Lizzie. Yeah, Lizzie has one point. I knew it was him. <gasps> Whoa. Oh else How? Oh, because I just knew. It's a soul connection between <laughs> reckless gingers. <laughs> Takes one to know one. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Are you guys ready for the next one? Yes. For a very long time, I was very interested in becoming a Scientologist. <laughs> That's what? Lizzie. That's that, Lizzie for sure. That's Chris. That's Jerry. Chris, I know no. it's Chris because Chris has been in that building way too much. I was an it. extra for them. That I know. I but you kept wanting to go back, girl. Three. <laughs> Two. Sorry. One. Foot. Chris. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Scientologist? I'm not. Reveal it. For a period Show of us your dick. Time. Okay, so I didn't know anything about it first off. And then I did uh I did was I was like a background actor for the Church of Scientology, which you just got off like LA casting. It was just like generic stuff and it was the highest paying extra work because no one wanted to do it. And I was like, I don't care, I need money, please. Also a family, like a very, very distant family friend who wanted to be an actor, became a Scientologist, and then acted in a huge Hollywood movie, and she was like, It's because of them, and I'm like, Okay, Whoa. maybe I need to sign up. Yeah. So there were things Things that made me like think about it. And then they'll it. take the whole paycheck. Yeah. So long story short, I don't, I no longer wish to be a Scientologist, but at a point in time, I, I thought about I it. I will say, not that I'm sticking up for Scientology, but what I will say <laughs> is it, it's, you know, a lot of Bibles, yeah, gay people, it's like, oh, you'll go to hell or whatever. Uh, but in the Scientology Bible, it's like, you'll be thrown into a volcano by a big fat alien. So it's kind of <laughs> Worse. creative. I don't believe it, but it's creative. You don't believe that? That there's a big fat alien throwing gay people into volcanoes? Come on. It sounds the most realistic out of any religion. You know religions. what? Scientology, we were just kidding. Don't come for us. Um, I'm actually a Scientologist. <laughs> <laughs> Jared gave away the next question. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, let's move on. All right, next one. I got in trouble for selling dead frogs to kids in my neighborhood when I was eight. God, that sounds like Lizzie. Dead frogs? <laughs> yes. I'm between Lizzie and Ryland, personally. Does anyone want to help me out on this? It could be Ryland because he was trying to throw us off the track because he was like, that's so Lizzie. It, it usually is who smelt it, dealt it, and you did smell that one first. Yeah. Out the gate. Lose the point. I could use it. Ooh. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Three, two, one, flip. Yes. And we have, oh. I thought we were going to have unanimous, but yeah, it is. Wow. Wait, tell us everything. In my defense, I didn't know they were dead. Yeah, right. I swear to God. Okay, so my friends and I used to go collect baby frogs. Well, they were just small frogs in this little creek, and then we would put them in grocery plastic bags and just fill the bags with water. Them? Well, we didn't know. <gasps> we were drowning them and then selling them to the kids in the neighborhood. And then parents would come back to my house and be like, your daughter sold us like some dead frogs for oh $8. Oh, God. <laughs> and honestly, it's kind of on their kid for buying a dead frog. What was the sales pitch? Like, how did you present the package? What Do you, you want say? a frog? So your, nice. con your confession was that you murdered them <laughs> and then sold their dead carcasses. It was like, it was an accident. I would say it was like <laughs> gross negligence. It was a negligible mistake that any eight-year-old could have made. <laughs> I have to go. I have to go. All right, you guys ready for the next? Yes. Shame. This one's a simple one. I used to rollerblade to my hookups in my 20s. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I need gas. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's definitely a gay thing to do. <laughs> and I know Shane didn't rollerblade. So you're saying it's not you? No. It ain't me. No. We used to make fun of rollerbladers. It's definitely Chris. We used to call him fruit booters. <laughs> oh, wait, what did you say? I'm trying, guys. It's that really... is offensive. I'm trying to get wait, canceled you, here. Fruit you booters? called you a yeah. fruit booter. Fruit booters. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> Uh, I'm up. offended for the game. <laughs> <laughs> that one's bad for you. 
<laughs> hey, no, honestly, grow up and get a bike. <laughs> <laughs> My dad rollerbladed his whole life. Fruit booter. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, sorry. Let's all let's all guess who it is. Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, it's unanimous. Everyone gets a point. <laughs> I had fun. <laughs> oh. No, tell us about it. No, I don't want to. <laughs> I could just. What were you listening to in the headphones when you were doing that? Sugar. <laughs> da, 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 Probably da, nothing. Da. He's such a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> oh, You're just determined rollerblading. <laughs> Did you ever? Keep Keep them on during uh, the act? No, 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 no. I'm like okay. rolling back in and out. <laughs> I alternated too between a longboard and rollerblades. Uh, also, I rollerbladed as well. Never do a hookup, but I did also roll. <laughs> okay. All right, next one. I used a homophobic slur in my science fair project and won the science fair. Jared. Jared <laughs> I actually feel like it's Shane or Chris. Are you projecting? I would never. Well, that sounds like a lie. <laughs> All right, ready? Three, two, one. I want to say Shane for some reason. <gasps> it is Who was me. it? it oh! I couldn't write down me because you guys can see my my board. Why did you write your okay. diversion? What the fuck? <laughs> You're homophobic. <laughs> no, I'm not. What? <laughs> she runs around screaming the F word. No. <laughs> I just say literally, quote, the F word, end quote. To be fair, I think you're both a little homophobic. No. <laughs> wow. He, at least he's being fair, guys. He's being fair. Depends on how gay you are. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You rollerbladed, you win. It's a joke. Yeah, I was rollerblading around West Hollywood. How does it get Just gayer Just jacking than that? guys off left and right. Get, it doesn't get more F word than that. They, Wait. People in the area probably heard the click, 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 click over the concrete and were like, oh, we're getting jacked off today, guys. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever jacked off an unhoused person? <laughs> oh my God. Dude, shout out to you for being PC with Thank me. You. you know? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Not that I know of. <laughs> that you know of? You don't know if some of the guys at clubs oh, are unhomed. True. In clubs? You're jacking off people in clubs? <laughs> Where? When? Just the gay clubs are wild. You can do whatever you want. In, in the middle of the club? Against a wall. Whoa. <laughs> On the outskirts? I'm confused. Because that is the act of somebody who's really like into that kind of stuff, but you're not like that. I told you I was crazy from 21 to 22. What or happened? 20 to 22. I got it all out. Great. Literally. All over, this, all over the club floor. Yeah. No, no, no. This wasn't about the person or the sex itself. It was more about the thrill and the adrenaline. How did we get here? Well, you used a homophobic yeah, slur in your science what was your project. Science project. Okay, let me explain. So I did... <laughs> Okay, so first of all, if any lesbians are watching, which I know they are because lesbians, we love you guys. Um, <laughs> the best, actually. <laughs> literally. So I know this term isn't like that offensive and probably not even that used anymore, but this was like the 90s, so it was very much used. Let's bring it back. <laughs> So I did a science project about like um, sprays for the carpet <laughs> and, and I was like testing different brands. So I had the big poster board and I just had carpet cleaners across the top of the poster board. Yeah. Which, that's what it was. So I literally, people were la like adults were laughing at it and I didn't know why. I got into the science fair. I'm in the fucking auditorium. I have the big carpet cleaners and every woman, every gym teacher, every girl was walking up laughing and I was just like, they love it. I fucking won. And then I'm like, wow, I'm a genius. I get back home and then Jared was like, carpet cleaner, this fucking lesbian. I do remember that now. And I was like, what? She yeah. didn't intentionally. I thought, no. I thought it was rug munchers. Yeah, that's one I know, but There's it's both. similar. Uh, yeah. Okay, next confession. All right, uh, quick rundown of the scores. We have Lizzie in front with four. Thank you. Shane and Jared tied with three. And then Chris and Ryland in last with one. Oh, I don't know you guys at all. It's because you just uh -oh. keep guessing me, which is low-key offensive. <laughs> It's going to work one of these times. It's I'm like just, a multiple choice test. I'm easily convinced. Someone yells someone and I'm like, they're right. <laughs> it's always not that. All right. It's next, working. Next one. I accidentally stole my eight-year-old neighbor's dog and rehomed it with a lesbian couple on the west side. <laughs> <laughs> on the west side? It's got to be Lizzie. Nobody else would use west side. <laughs> Thank you, Ryland. Nobody else See, knew about the west side when now. they were eight. All right. Everyone going to answer? I think it's Chris. Shane's looking at me like it's him. It's you now because you're playing too hard. Like, I would it's know either Shane or Lizzie. <laughs> I'm saying it's Chris. It got to right. be Chris. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, Chris nope. grew up in LA. Definitely. Ah, not. Yeah, it is Lizzie. Damn yeah. it. I know. So I there was this straggly dog in my front yard, and I was like, oh, this dog is missing. So then I take the dog into my backyard, and then I go over to the park across the street from my house. I'm like showing pictures of the dog on my phone. People, do you guys know this dog? Have you guys seen this dog? And they're like, no, we don't know that dog. And then I called my friend, who I know trains dogs and was looking for a pet. 
And I said, do you want her? And she's like, yeah, I'll take her right now. So I bring her to her house. I drop her off. And the next day I'm getting in the car. <laughs> this my literal neighbor right next door <laughs> walks over with his eight-year-old daughter who's sobbing. And she's got a missing dog poster. <laughs> she goes, have you seen this dog? And I went, yes, I gave her to lesbians <laughs> on the West Side. I'll go get her right now for you. I'm so sorry. I thought she was wow. abandoned. That yeah. poor dog. Yeah. I bet was so happy with those lesbians. <laughs> yes. I bet she was. She saw the vet for the first time in forever. She got a special shampoo. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It was lesbians take their dogs to restaurants. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Okay, next confession. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yeah. This one is pretty short and sweet. Okay. I used to sleep with a demon. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Shane. This is a very ambiguous one. All right, everyone got an answer? Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one, flip. Damn it. Okay, Shane, it, Shane. it was it was me. Ah. Uh, wow, okay. Shane, you're sneaky. That's, uh, like, that's like a thumbnail and title <laughs> of yours. With a demon? Yeah. Okay, let me explain. It's it's you know, I don't think I've told this on the podcast before, but when I was little, I was laying in bed and I was really sad because I had a really bad birthday and then I had um somebody scratching my back and I thought it was my mom because she scratches my back. So I was just like, "Oh, mom, this is the worst birthday ever." So sad or whatever. And I turn around, there's no one there. I was like, "Okay, that was weird. I so this. then I was freaked out. Got, I froze. And then I ran into my mom's room. It wasn't even that late. I ran into my mom's room and I was like, Mom, I felt somebody it was like scratching my back and I don't know what it was. Yeah, I gotta go. Nobody's ever had an encounter like that. Can I personally have it? I have scary shit happen around me, but I choose to really ignore it. I've always been honestly very skeptical of like demons and ghosts and things until our encounter. That's the first one I've ever had terrifying. I don't know how I feel anymore. But in general, I've always been very skeptical. Cause I'm, I've, I've, I've always been someone who really needs like proof of a thing to see it to feel it whatever and i've never you know you what know. i'll do tonight i'm gonna tell my demon no to go to your house and give you a little scratch <laughs> don't do tell that him, <laughs> please don't do that <laughs> i don't need proof i changed my mind all right well after even after that lizzie is still our winner with oh five God, so nice. you guys i'm I better though me. <laughs> Joint tied for second is Shane, Jared, and Chris with four. Ooh. I Ooh. lost that last. And then Ryland is dead last with, with three. <laughs> you guys yeah. get every time. <laughs> Sorry. Ryland, look at oh, your wait. fuzzy chips. Oh, I get a vagina chip? It says all bodies taste good. I'm kind Ooh. of straight. <laughs> Here, take your pussy. Oh, I'm not a full fruit booter because wait, can, I had sex with a woman before. Can I try one, though? Do you want a penis one? Sure. How about you got, you guys go at it. <laughs> uh... Ooh, it smells like Universal Studios. It does not smell like it penis. It doesn't smell like pussy. Or actually, that might be like road trip ass. Yeah, it's it starts out nice and then it goes bad. How's that dick? Does it? No. Oh. How is oh. this supposed to taste like a penis? It doesn't <laughs> taste like a penis. I don't think these taste like pussy. Let me see if that tastes like a penis. I like it how does you, not. You I have promise. to be 18 and over to eat these. Ew, how Why? are you eating this with a straight face? I think it tastes like sweet onions. Wait, I want to try I that one. It's like sour cream and Ew. onion mixed yeah. with a hint of Ew. barbecue. Jared, does it? It tastes like they sprayed Febreze on it. Shane, can you hand me the penis? Wait, I want to know, Jared. <laughs> Not again. Does it resemble it at all for you, Jared? <laughs> it literally just tastes like chips. I mean, this is more of a marketing thing yeah. than it is like a based in reality. Damn it, these were expensive cans. Yeah. Fuck. Well, we're going to eat our dicks and pussies, and we're going to take a quick little break. And when we come back, I actually don't know what we're doing, but it's going to be a lot. Hey, sorry to interrupt the show, but I want to give some love to our sponsor today, which is Displate. Hold on, don't go anywhere because I have some judgments for you. I'm looking at your walls and they're looking pretty boring, except for that over there. That's a big crack and that does not look like an earthquake crack. That looks like a demon crack. You should get that checked. Demon crack. Okay, if I was Doja Cat, that would be my next single. Demon crack, demon crack, all up in my demon, calling all the angels to have my back. Oh, look at demon crack. You know what? I'm taking that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Can you imagine? What was I talking about? Your walls. <laughs> Displayed. Okay. So what you need for your room right now is some displates. And listen, if you want some displates of our podcast, that would be cool. But they also have a bunch of other designs too. So if you don't already know, Display is the one-of-a-kind metal poster that is designed to capture your unique passions. So I love Display. They've been sponsoring the show for a year and a half now. And I love them because they give such a good option for people who don't want to put nails in their walls. Like when I was a teenager and we were renting, we were not allowed to do that. So I would have to tape up all my posters and they would fall right away. But with Display, it's so easy because it's magnetic. So all you do is you wipe the wall where you want it, you put the magnet there, and then 
you put your display right on it. You can move it to different parts of the wall. You can organize them or arrange them however you want. They come in different sizes, so you could have small displays or you could have big ones. And they're very high quality and they just look good. They have over a million different designs of pretty much everything you can think of. Movies, games, TV shows, niches. Is that a thing? Niche. Niches. That's my favorite niche. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> but they probably got it. If your boyfriend's a gamer, or if you're a gamer, because girl gamers exist, don't erase them. They have so many video game posters. Cyberpunk, Call of Duty, Fallout, Halo, League of Legends, World of Warcraft. So Display is going to give you guys a discount if you use code GROWER. Let me explain. If you use code GROWER at checkout, you will get 22% off for one to two displays and 33% off if you get three or more displays. So all you have to do is go to the link in the description below and use code GROWER at checkout and get 22% off for one to two or 33% percent off if you get three or more so hopefully you enjoy the displays and if you get some of our podcast please send me pictures shane dawson podcast stuff at gmail.com so i can show them all right enjoy the rest of the show enjoy your walls they might be blank right now but they'll look better soon there's another crack oh god what's behind you oh my god is it demon crack demon crack okay i'm gonna go Okay, welcome back. We are going to get into our favorite segment, which is... Vagina. Viewers are great. I need another. <laughs> I knew it was vagina. You did. Yeah. Well, speaking of vagina, we actually have an email. <laughs> uh, this has nothing to do with vaginas. Kind of, actually. This is from Ashley, and she was like, Hey, I know you guys did a podcast last year about the pink sauce. That's how... Ugh. I got to vagina from pink sauce. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, what we yeah. should have dipped the pussy chips in. <laughs> pink sauce. Wait a minute. Ooh. Well, if you want some, it is now available at Dollar Tree. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> You know, good for her. She had a good run. Listen, there is nothing wrong with that. If 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 Dollar Tree wanted to buy merch, <laughs> I would give it to them, honestly. Dollar Tree you know is one I mean? of my favorite stores. That's, so. It's a great store. So yeah. yeah, if you want some pink sauce at the Dollar Tree. And not kind of everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar. Maybe a true. It is actually 125. <gasps> and I, I will say, though, the color has morphed into some sort of uh, uh, nude. That no. drink never seemed regulated. It's sauce. Or that sauce. Yeah. He's been drinking it the whole time. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I've been getting the metal straws out. Ew. <laughs> so yeah, anyways. Just a little update on the pink sauce. Uh, we, what is happening to her? We need to look into that. She I, I, on the show. She had a GoFundMe at one point. She no. recently no. got in, no. into trouble yeah. again. Why? Again? What yeah. Some I don't remember the exact details of it, which is so annoying for me to even bring it up, but she was recently in the news again for being problematic with oh. sauce. Maybe like she might even be doing like a blue sauce now. Yeah, she has a blue sauce though. Yeah. She, we should That's try a it. divorce. I Pink hate sauce to say it, but I don't think lightning's gonna strike twice for this young lady. <laughs> I think get out of the sauce game immediately. <laughs> yeah, Wait, you're not the sauce boss, what's unfortunately. The blue sauce called? What's, yeah, what is but it? But we should try the blue sauce on the podcast. Yes. <laughs> Fuck yes. What is it? Um, she should have got it. It's not the most official rollout I've ever seen. It's, it's not. No way. I thought it would be super professional. <laughs> it's just a TikTok video, and the quote this has is, "Yes, honey, this is blue, and of course, it is all naturally colored." <laughs> but, what? Uh, yeah. I'm very curious. What's naturally that blue that is a sauce? It's there's no information about it at all. <laughs> it's just she has blue sauce now. And so how I don't do even know if you can buy it. I think playing this one close to the vest. I like it. Well. <laughs> Blue sauce girl, please hit us up. We'd love to have you on the show. <laughs> Although I will say, last time we last time we talked about her, and I was like, come on the show. There was comments that were like, no, she's so problematic. And I was like, I'm not even going to research this because I can't fall down a sauce rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get lost in the sauce real quick. <laughs> you don't want to do that to yourself. Okay. Uh, this is from <laughs> Mariah. Oh, this one is really cute. Okay. She said, hey, I've been watching since 2007. I love you all so much. Here's a picture of my three-month-old twin boys <gasps> watching the podcast with me. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Oh. Now, to be fair, they're not really watching. Yeah, I was going to say, this is a little false. <laughs> I thought they were going to be like enthralled, but yeah. they're there. And they have to be toy. enjoying listen, it. Listen, Mariah, I'm going to give you a tip. Like, listen, if they want to do their tummy time and you could face them toward the podcast and they could really engage, here they're more just passively engaging. Which <laughs> it's fine. You know what? Now that, now that I'm actually thinking about it, maybe Mariah use AirPods and don't have the <laughs> Yeah. Also, you know? I hope you're hanging in there, girl. Yeah. Good luck, Mariah. We're, we're with you. Prayers up. Um, okay. You're so cute. Uh, okay. This is from Lisa. Hey, Shane and guys and girl. Hey. I uh, just yeah. wanted to say hello from Disney World Epcot. <gasps> I wanted to share that I 
wanted to share my love for the podcast and for Shane. I'm a huge supporter. So I rocked the merch at Disneyland and so many people came up to me and complimented it and said they love the show. And here she is out in front of the big ball. (laughs) The Epcot Epcot ball. ball. These are cool pictures. I know. Look at her living her best life. We were at Disneyland in your merch right now. I wish we were at Disney World in your merch right now. (laughs) Yeah. So that's so cute. So thank you, Lisa. Um, Okay. So let's get to some voicemails. Mm. Hey, guys. Um, so I hooked up with this guy last night, and I'm just looking for some advice. So we were, you know, getting into it, and he's like, do you like being slapped? Um, I've never been slapped before during sex, you know. I said yes, and he went a little overboard, and I now have a black eye. Oh. Um, and the entire left side of my face is swollen. Oh, my God. I'm just looking to, for some advice. What do I do? Like, is this okay? Please help. Did you like it in the moment? Or was it always like you went too far? Call the cops, girl. <laughs> it's 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 a tr- it's a tough one, right? Because he did ask for consent to slap her. However, it doesn't sound like it was playful or she has very low a threshold black- to getting a black eye and bruising. Right. You know, but yeah. like I, I would say, my best advice is if you didn't like it, say no next time. Yeah, and maybe, maybe uh, you know, don't it hang out with this guy weird, anymore. Though, that you'd have to be like, how hard when you say yes? You know, like you would just assume it'd be like a. Yeah, yes. no. I would never hook up with him again, I, and I would probably be like, hey, I have a black eye. Yeah, you like I've been punched in the face pretty hard, and I didn't get a black eye. You know, so it's like. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you if you liked it or not. You know what I mean? She was laughing. Yeah, she was laughing. I mean, she didn't sound traumatized, but then again, some people laugh when they're nervous. Yeah, Yeah, I I do that. So, call the cops. (laughs) (laughs) Just, you know what? Call the fucking cops. I hate it. I hate it. You could really. Yeah, I hate him for that. I know that in the BDSM community, one of the pillars of it, the most important part of it is consent. And that comes with massive amounts of communication where there is discussion of, what is my threshold? How hard do I want it? How many times do I want to be slapped? And there are safe words. Yes. And like it literally, this community is like tied together over this like open communication that's like overly thorough. It's like a fucking doctor's exam before you start beating a bitch up. Wow. So for some guy to just be like, let, hey girl, you can't, let me slap your face real good. And she's like, okay, sure. Like that to me doesn't sound like a consensual, actual conversation, especially if you're walking away bruised. How hard do you would you want to be slapped? Uh, if you're giving me a bruise, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I like. That's pretty hard. I yeah. don't know that I'd ever want to be slapped in the face. Are we having an earthquake? Or am I having an earthquake? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's you. I think it's you. You don't feel that? No. 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 Are you okay? I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. You know what? Okay, let's let's end on one more and then we'll move on. Hi guys, this is Nikayla from Utah. I have a question for the growers and shower in the room. Um, my husband's a grower and he says that sometimes, especially when he's at work, his dick will just like randomly go inside of his body and he has to like physically put his hands down his pants to like pop it back <sighs> out. So I'm just wondering if this is a grower thing or if Ryland, who's a shower, also experiences this. Um, and if you have any remedies to help stop this problem. So, yeah. Bye, guys. If I'm, like, 10 pounds up, it can go inside. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, define inside. So, as a grower, I've never experienced this. Yes, that would be something I couldn't give personal experience opinions on. But it sounds like maybe, from what you're saying, uh, if lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> no, for reals. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, maybe he's packing a little bit of a foop. And he needs to lose some weight. If your if your dick goes inside your body because it's cold, was that why he, she said it? Because it was cold. No, she said it's just at work why. randomly from inactivity. <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah, I don't know. But you know what? As long as it comes out to play, who cares? Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. I mean, as long as it doesn't hurt, as long as it always comes back out, I'm sure it's fine. So this <laughs> is not all growers. Not all growers experience this. Some do. It's possibly a, a weight Listen, contributes. Not all growers experience it, but they can all experience the merch. <laughs> <laughs> if there's ever been a guy who needs to rock the merch, it's you, my dude. Okay, welcome back. Okay, these conspiracies today, I'm not going to lie. 
They're floppities. No, they're actually really <laughs> good, but they're kind of like intense. So I'm just letting you know, if you're not a conspiracy oh. head, you can leave the room. Okay. Because we're about to get into some <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. Ooh. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your One mind of... is blown every time. <laughs> First, I want to start with this. Okay, Jared, we were talking like last week about this off camera and you were like, have you heard about the Mandela effect time switch thing? Which yes. I hadn't heard of yet. And then I got this email from Michael. So if you, by the way, if you have any uh, conspiracies or any weird things like that, Shane Dawson podcast stuff at gmail.com. Michael has said, apparently we went into a glitch or a time warp in 2020. So now in 2024, everything is happening in the same way. <gasps> So I was like, what does that mean? So she sent me a picture. So I don't know anything about sports, but I guess in 2020, the Chiefs and the 49ers yeah. were in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Okay. And now in 2024, once again. And then there's a bunch of other sports things that are happening. Like Nuggets finished third in the West. I don't know. Shout out Denver. Nuggets currently third in the West. Like it's literally like four years ago to now, all these things are the same. So does this- Joe Biden is going to be going against Trump. Don't, yeah. Oh my God. And we never thought that would happen again. No. Well, I did, yeah. I, I didn't think it was, was going to happen. Me so, too. Okay. So now, does this tie in at all with your theory about the time jump? I think the t what happened in 2020 is, I can't think of the name right now, but there's a company who is able to split an atom in a lab. Yes. It's like their big thing. We, I believe we talked about it before, yeah. but evidently that threw a glitch into the matrix okay. and it caused a parallel universe. But what I had uh, talked about was Nikola Tesla actually right. made a time machine. And there's a couple stories one of them is he made this time machine and just to give it some you know validity here this is the man responsible for probably 80 percent of the technology we use wait do you he, really want quick want to break down who he is so people know so nikola tesla was born in the late 1800s he's siberian and he was one of the great inventors of our time i mean he was able to create wireless electricity where he basically like put a bunch of light bulbs in a field and with the tower that he he created that he actually built based off of the pyramids conspiracy the pyramids were a power plant evidently but he was able to conduct wireless electricity but he made like remote controls he made radio all this other stuff but evidently he was obsessed with time travel and he made this time machine and one of the conspiracies is in 1943 he tested it because the fbi was or the cia or one of those was very interested in this technology so he had a room with the time machine in it and he got in and he was going to go five years into the future and the people that were in there say that they watched half of the time machine disappear and the other half stayed there the half that he was not in and then two months later they had to fake his death so nobody would ever question it they got a body double put it in the hotel and uh, so evidently he didn't die he just time traveled what but, but nikola, is that elon but, uh, maybe but nikola tesla knew that if he were to time travel and it would be successful it had the potential of creating parallel universes and it would glitch out our reality so I'm I'm thinking maybe Mandela effects are real because I have I have faith in Nikola Tesla. I think he did it, and uh, yeah, that's why we experience these Mandela effects. Wait, so okay, yes, I agree. I do think time tra travel is real, and the main reason I think time travel is real is because at some point it will be. So that means it is right, even if it's in a million uh... years, it will happen. So if it happens in a million years, it's happening. Whoa. Would they want to come back? To well, now? I think that's we've talked about this before. I think that's what UFOs are. I think UFOs are time travelers, and I mm. think they're from a long time in the future, and they're coming back and seeing what's going on. But the whole thing about 2020 and 2024 is interesting because I'm not gonna lie, this year does feel different. Like I don't know. So I got maybe, bad vibes. You're pregnant. <laughs> I know, it's terrifying. No. There was this an article good. in the Daily Mail the other day that there was a guy on a flight in like from Europe to somewhere else in Europe and he started losing liters of blood and died like I on some World War Z shit. That, yeah. So I got bad vibes, Wait, brother. What? What? No. Yeah, I know. No. You guys need to build a bunker and give me the address. <laughs> no, we're good. Good. We'll be good in a bunker, bro. Okay, that's we're, actually smart because. Isn't Oh, no, sorry. No, you go. No, oh, no, no. I was just saying, isn't billionaires getting in trouble for building uh, Literally, bunkers? next on my list. Thank you. Okay, this is crazy. I was doing research for a conspiracy video I'm working on, and I found out about Mark Zuckerberg. He's building this, like, how much was it? $200 million? $270 million. Yes. If you had Mark Zuckerberg money, why wouldn't you? <laughs> okay. But why would you is the real question, Because Ryland. you have access to information that the world's going to implode like it did when there were dinosaurs. So now you're protecting yourself <sighs> because you're okay. rich. Yes, true. But it's not just him, right? So I started researching. I'm like, oh, this is interesting. 
Recently, it has been discovered that 15 other billionaires are all building these huge bunkers right now. Isn't that funny? That's how they have pissing contests. Dude, I got a $300 million bunker, you know? It's probably right. just all a competitive thing. How many square feet? Or they know something. I think they know something. I think they know they something. They do. If anyone were or to know something, it would it. be billionaires. But why do we want to stay alive if something... No, if everything on the surface is gone, what are they going to do down there? And how are they going to get... Well, dude, he probably got fucking Disneyland down there with 270 yeah. million. It's probably I mean, fine, cracking down in that bunker. So There's... they're going to have connecting bunkers where they can just repopulate the bunkers? Okay, that's everything. I know, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Build if... a bunker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Doomsday Prepper is looking a lot less stupid these days. Yeah, so, and Mark Zuckerberg, his bunker, it's huge. It has like 30 bedrooms, a bunch of buildings. It has its own energy, its own food sources. It has blast resistant doors. Like, it's like a whole thing. Has his invite list been leaked? So what happened was one of the, they all had to sign NDAs, like all the construction workers, which is crazy because I guess from it what I read. It didn't work. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta kill them, bro. You can't be having construction workers building your bunker and living. That's just facts. Everybody knows that. Every prepper knows that. You gotta murder the people who build it. See, because they're gonna have, talk. You have a trillionaire yeah. mindset. These are only billionaires. Okay, I just, Lizzie. They didn't think that. I got a ahead. thousand heirs bank account. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So they all signed these NDAs, which I guess is like unheard of for construction sites. Like that never happens in America. And they did it. But one of the employees went on Snapchat and started posting from the bunker. You're kidding? Whoa. Was it Lux? I don't know. I haven't seen the Snapchats because they were removed. Because uh, it's an Evan Spiegel fucking plant. The Snapchat so. kids trying to get his own bunker plans now. Uh, didn't Bezos or somebody went to space? Like a bunch of them went to space and stuff too. So like maybe. Well, that's the thing. They're building all these bunkers, and then the other billionaires were trying to get to space. Yeah, I'd yeah. blast all out of this atmosphere than going down into it. I also just recently heard that someone created like a multi-luxurious, two hundred and fifty million dollar submarine. I will really? not be on that. Yeah. We could afford that. It's happening. It's ha oh, it's happening. I don't know if our conspiracy video is out yet, but we talk about that. It's happening. Oh, well, it's happening. The thing is, oh yeah. Oh my god. Doesn't the Earth like? I don't think it's going to be a natural disaster. I think it's going to be a man-made debacle. Uh. I think someone's going to flip the switch somewhere, and that's going to cause a lot of other switches to flip, and everyone's going to turn so against each other. All our hard works for nothing. Lizzie, you're having a baby. We're I know. I'm begging you to build us a bunker. Did, didn't a bunch of scientists not that long ago say that if we didn't do something to like combat climate change, that within 10 years, like irreversible damage will be done? Yeah, but there's also... God, this is going to get me in trouble. <laughs> what? Don't. Okay. No. <laughs> what? what? My wanna, boss told me to do I don't want to get into climate control. Are you <laughs> hey guys, climate control? I'm not a climatologist. That's theory. A climatologist? A climatologist. <laughs> a climatologist. That's what they call it. Really? It's the Church of Climatology, <laughs> and it's a big thing to just extort money from everybody and make everyone go green and use only electricity So because they could actually control the price of electricity better it, than they can fossil fuels. It, it's not... What? There, there's, like, a lot of things that go into it, but there's, like, there's also this other stuff where, like, you know, billionaire real estate people are still picking up properties along the coastline and they're not like doing crazy stuff to insure it. So it's not like they're just doing that to tank that money. Do you right. know what I mean? So there are some signs that say like, cause money talks, right? Like if you look at the trends of money and how these people are spending, building fucking bunkers, but still buying shit along the coastline, right. like, I don't know. Also, one of my best friends is one of the leading scientists in regards to climate change. And he gets in an airplane every year and goes literally around the world and measures the polar ice caps. And Whoa. he's the guy that everybody who's like, climate stuff isn't real. He's the one that they quote. So the point being is it's, pro it's, it's very real. Climate change is real. But there are some people, I'm not saying I subscribe to this, but I have heard arguments made that the changes that are happening can't be disputed as abnormal right. or progressed because we've never lived like this before. We've never seen something like this before. Right. Well, and the, the, oh, good, good. Oh, no, no, I was just gonna say, but the, the, and the way that they track former climate changes with these ice caps because they're so old, they can go deep, deep, deep down. And each layer down is another like, you know, 50,000 years or whatever. And they think that that's an indication of trends, but it's like, I don't, I'm, not, I'm a fucking idiot. Like I'm on, I have a <laughs> podcast and a very lazy vlog. So don't quote me on this. I'm not yeah. the climate scientist. We're not, we're not scientists. I just Subscribe to it, both. I just directed a music video for him called Climate Elvis, but <laughs> give it a look. Um, the patterns of, in it aren't strong enough to say that what's happening now isn't necessarily something that happened, that just happens. 
Well, like 40 years ago or 50 years ago, they said that the earth is going to freeze. There was like a big concern about us all freezing and having another ice age. So the earth is cyclical. It goes through different yeah. periods. So just, I think the whole thing is like, are we the ones causing it? Maybe we could do better. Or does it just happen? But like the methane coming from the ocean and coming from cow fields and stuff like that and volcanoes is hundreds of thousands of times greater than we could ever do. So, I mean, the earth naturally puts itself through these phases. That's why they call it climatology is to try to transition us into green resources because they could, and even like, like lithium ion batteries only exist because of lithium mining, which is extremely bad for the environment and deadly for the people doing it. So it's all very interesting to talk about and not controversial at all. And, <laughs> no, and, like, to, and to like, circle back to Nikola Tesla, people believe that energy and electricity is what keeps the working class, quote unquote, enslaved to the rich man. And Nikola Tesla found a way of providing electricity that we didn't have to fucking pay for. Yeah. And then he went he went dead. Or time travel. Well, J.P. Morgan funded it, the project, to wow, build I feel like this I'm place on a show in Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> so, so J.P. Morgan funded it for like one hundred and fifty thousand dollars for him to create this power plant, and then once they realized what it could do, they pretty much demolished it and said, "Now we can't do that." Yeah. Because they didn't want to give people free energy. And now there are people on the internet who have found the blueprints for Nikola Tesla's energy sources, and they're copying them and building them at home, and they work. What? Yeah. Yeah. And so why is everybody mad at private? Why don't we search? have one? Uh, you could have one. <laughs> we can build Nikola Tesla's plant. I mean, you probably couldn't, but somebody <laughs> could do it. <laughs> well, we can't do much. Hey, he built a crib. You did. Do, <laughs> make, honestly, I'm you could probably follow the instructions. Thank you. I do think you could follow the instructions. Wow. But but that's that is something that is very interesting because they do go to a great length to convince us that we need something from them. And them being, you know, the billionaires building bunkers. And I, I wouldn't be shocked if because the internet is providing so much information and the dissemination of information is like so rapid now and everybody's getting more and more and more and more and people are getting more and more and more upset. Like we're all divisive and angry and pissed and poor and hungry and scared. That's why I think it's going to be a human thing instead mm. of a natural disaster because like I might be fucking leading it. <laughs> Get behind me, I am your god! Just for a reminder, guys, she's pregnant. There's a hormonal, <laughs> hormonal imbalance possibly just, uh -huh, going on right, right now. Build a so, bunker! We don't wow. know, necessarily. Uh, no, I do, I do, listen, I'm not gonna delve too deep into things because I don't want to get, you know, my channel taken away, but... Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 but I love what you said. It was interesting. I think it's, um, but no, I do think, I mean, listen, the people that run this world you know, want to sick, dying, fat, miserable, sad, and yeah. one day in the ground. And well that's said. kind of what it is. That's so keep that's sucking down that red dye 40, you know, girls. And what are they going to be doing without people to consume what they're creating? We literally, listen, I don't want to give away too many things from the conspiracy video because I don't want it to feel like you've already heard it all before, but I was doing research for that. I mean, it's crazy. There's literally in the air right now, there's plastic in the air, and every year we are inhaling 52 credit cards worth of plastic. Every year. Sick. In our bodies. And as a child, I was just eating Barbie shoes. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> We're all dying, and nobody's trying to fix it because no. they want to Some die. people are. Like, so, her and her husband aren't eating Red Dye 40. You're, she's breathing out in the world, right? I had some Red Dye 40 at the break. Don't tell your husband. I know. <laughs> I'm just saying. Listen. It's almost impossible to avoid, but Shane's right. Like consumerism has taken over everything and the consumerism of it all is to keep you sick, to keep you unabled and to keep you buying their poison. Well, right. the definition of ec economy is the lack of. So without a lack of something or you needing something, there's no need for you to spend your money. So they got to always keep you lacking and needing, right. you know, so shout well, out to everyone. <laughs> well, good luck out there, guys. Hold your breath. <laughs> yeah, this is real depressing. Uh, sorry. Okay, well, let's lighten the mood. This is sent to us by Gemma. Now, this started as a joke, but honestly, I fucking believe it. And let me show you this. Listen, I don't believe in any conspiracy theories except for this one. It's the idea that pigs contain the souls of, like, banished human beings. Like, if you believe in heaven and hell, the theory is that this is like a punishment. Like, this, you can't tell me these are not the eyes of, like, a serial killer. Or this is, like, a past human being locked inside of a pig. And I'm not just making up, there's biblical like scripture on this. I mean, just read this. Even the demons didn't want to go to hell. They begged Jesus to send them into the pigs instead. Like what crime do you think this person committed? I'm, I'm saying human in a pig. Look wow. at that eye. But not all pigs. 
Look at that wow. pig's eyes. So that's a fucking human no, eye. No, but they're saying that's a version of hell to come back as a yes. pig because who wants to be a pig? But he's saying like you're a serial killer. Some of them are really pig. happy. They're really sweet pigs. <laughs> I, it doesn't no, I matter if they're sweet or not. I mean, maybe they're. That's their next life. Like you, that's a hell. Like this is a punishment. Instead of you're being Chris, if you went to hell, you'd now be a pig. But pigs are smart, like humans. Yeah. They have human skin. You have to put sunscreen on. Yeah. Actually, Do you, you really? They don't burn? Yes. If they were, oh. if they're testing weaponry like knives, or they're they want to do ballistics, they will actually use a pig carcass because it's the closest thing to human. Oh. So if they they know if they can cut through a pig and can cut through a human. So wait, do we taste like bacon? <laughs> Let's Just find for out. Asking for a friend. Um, I 100% believe this. Next time I look in a pig's eyes, <laughs> I'm gonna like try to talk to them. Pig hearts are also visually the closest to human hearts. So that on set, we will usually go to a butcher store and buy a pig heart and use it as a human heart. Don't they also, like, <laughs> this might be fake, but don't they use pig organs and pig skin sometimes in human surgeries? They can, I think, yeah. Yes. Oh. Wait a minute. This is <laughs> weird. Do. What does pig stand for? <gasps> People Person. in disguise. I thought that, but that's a D. In People, People in guys. Oh, in there guys. you go. Pig, I, guy. <laughs> Please, I'm gay. <laughs> Please, I'm gay. There you go. <laughs> yeah. People, I gutted. Oh, gutting a pig? <gasps> Wait a minute. Love well, it. let's lighten the mood even more. <laughs> okay, I got a lot of emails about this one. Now, listen, I think this just shows that we're all stupid because it's always been this. But okay, you know the ice cream. That is rainbow sherbet, right? Well, it's no, delicious. It's never been rainbow sherbet. It's always been rainbow sherbet. Fuck you. <laughs> no, what? it's always sherbet. So why did we all say rainbow sherbet? Are we all stupid? Sherbet. Yeah, I, I think so. That's what I think. An or did Nikola Tesla go back? <laughs> Nikola Tesla was obsessed with rainbow sherbet. There... He's changing all the really important things like yeah. Bernstein and Bernstein bears and <laughs> sherbet and sherbet. Just the shit that pissed him off. Right. <laughs> you know what? I, I found something out recently that blew my mind, actually. What? It's it what is the thing? It's like the noodles in the in the cup. Cup of noodle? Ramen noodles. It's just cup noodles. Cup noodles. <gasps> yeah, I no, no, it's not cup of noodles. It's I just cup noodles. That one, Google it. That actually Finding facts. It's just cup noodles. Crazy. It's cup just cup noodles, baby. No, are you serious? Uh, yeah. Can you Google it? And that's not even, I think that's a different thing though because sorbet is actually, or is sorbet different than sherbet? Why would it be cup noodles? <gasps> that's insane. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> are there, is there no example of rainbow sherbet out there? Is there none? None. Sherbet. None. Sherbet. What in the fuck? I know. Okay. Brothers. This next one was sent in to me by Audrey. She said, first off, love the podcast. She wanted us to look at this screenshot from DuckTales. Now, I think this is very weird. So if you look at this screenshot, he's at the eye doctors and on the poster behind him, just at first glance, what do you think that says? I suck about a little tittle. Okay. <laughs> oh, you might need to examine. Illuminati? See, yes. What does that say? I, I see ask about Illuminati. But if oh. you actually look in it, it literally does say Illuminati in it. Those last two lines. The so fuck? who the fuck at Disney was like, ask about Illuminati? Are they trying to say, like, ask about it, help us? I thought it said, like, a ska, like a band. <laughs> like, a ska boot, <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> I don't know, but It's to very me, creepy. You could find the answers to the universe in Disney movies. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, there is a 666 in the Disney logo. Is there? Yeah, there is. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. That wall. What? Creepy. And isn't Disneyland technically a bunker? <gasps> and then, there, oh. then there's, Club, yeah, there's Club 33. Yeah. 33 is the high, highest level of Freemasonry and whatnot. I mean, I'm just saying he knew something. <gasps> and Goofy? Gorge. What about him? <laughs> is oh, he wait, 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 wait. Do you think they're ready to hear about Goofy? I don't think so. What is he, a I don't see a six, <laughs> six in Disney. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, this is crazy. I got an email from a girl named Haley, and she said, my phone knew I was brushing my hair. And I was like, okay, what? So I opened the email. She says, hey. So I know you guys talk a lot about TikTok algorithms and whether or not the phones are tracking your eye movements. But the other day I was brushing my hair because it was really tangled. It took me like 20 minutes. As soon as I opened up my phone afterwards, I got an ad for a detangling brush on TikTok. I live alone. I wasn't talking to myself about, about anything. I wasn't even on TikTok. Was my phone listening to me brushing my hair and then suggesting an ad about it? 
If your phone can hear how tangled your hair was, <laughs> it's doing you a favor, Haley. It probably sounded like a fucking pack of firecrackers going off in your room. So shout out to TikTok, man. They're saving hair. You Listen, know? I will say, first of all, very creepy. But I will say it's getting to a point now where like we all are just living with it because so we were doing this video with the Stanley Cup, you know, whatever, and we were talking about lighting it on fire. Literally, three minutes later, I'm in the bathroom and I open up my uh, Instagram and boom, my first thing on my explore page is somebody lighting a Stanley on fire. And I'm like, okay, so yeah. I literally uh, listen to my conversation and put it in the algorithm instantly. And I just kept going on with my day. And we're the last generation that's gonna feel like this is intrusive. In the future, people will pay for your phone to recommend things to you. That convenient. They'll, they'll be like, yeah, I'll pay $5 a month for my phone to tell me exactly what I wanna know about. Oh, but, I, now, but right now it feels intrusive, but it will advance to something that is a premium that people Sometimes will pay for. Sometimes it's useful. Like even when I was looking at baby carriers <laughs> and then like the three that I was comparing in my head are all now just constant ads on my phone until I buy one of them. Yeah. I literally, as I came out here, Spencer was on his phone and he was like, as I'm walking out, we're talking. He's like, that's crazy. And he turns his phone. It's some guy wearing this yeah, sweater. That was what? Really yeah. This it was just really happened. Like, it was literally really like an Instagram what? video of a guy like doing a bit wearing that exact shirt. Yeah. It was really weird. I, so your phone was watching us. Then. Sometimes too, I'll, I feel like I do the same thing where I'm thinking something and I open my phone and it's there. A hundred percent. It's happening. I don't know like, how it can read minds though. I, I don't know. I don't know how it can read minds though. <laughs> I don't know. Wow, that is so scary. Well, shout out Haley. I hope your hair looks good. Send us a picture. Yeah. Um, okay. But did the brush work? <laughs> That's what we need to know, girl. Okay, so this is from Madison. She said, is this the new dress? So this is a picture. Uh, <laughs> can I pee while this is happening? <laughs> so is there a pit or is there no pit? No pit. No pit. Wait. What do you mean? The hole where the I seed was? I see a... Uh, Wait, the, the pit is the hole where the seed was, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, there's definitely a pit. I can see both. What do you mean there's no pit? I see no seed. No, there's no seed, but there's a pit. Okay, I'm gonna use my scientific discretion here. Right. The lighting source is coming from the top of this avocado. Uh -huh. The fact that the light is hitting the very top of the seed, and that's the most prominent part of the lighting within the center, there is a there is a, a seed in there. Because if there was not, I think it would not have that lighting effect of the light being bright in the center and cascading down the sides. Oh. Wow, that is the new but, dress. I want well, to kill you now, But wouldn't Jared. it be, yeah. wait, you're the, uh, firm in one way. I, I can am. see, I can honestly see both in this. Like I could convince myself there's a seed and then I could also equally convince myself that there's not a seed. Also, Wait, so I don't see a fall see... off on the sides. That's crazy. What do I you can mean? To me, there's people. definitely no seed. Yeah, there's no seed there. <laughs> like, to me, there's you no world where there's, there's a seed. A it's not the right color of a seed, but you can also like visually be stumped that there's protruding. Wow. You know what I will say about this one? And maybe it's because people <laughs> just love avocados, but it's not causing us to fight. I love it, but also, Okay. On the so on the right side of the picture, you can actually see, because when you cut an avocado in half, one side will have the pit, the other side won't. You can see pieces of the actual avocado on the top right of it, which yeah. is the co same color of the avocado around it. So that is where the seed is. The other side would not have the seed. Solved. The reason we're not fighting is because I don't feel super passionately in either direction. Put the dress up. No, <laughs> God, please, no, uh, no. Yeah. Good try uh, though. That was good, Madison. Yeah, that was fun, that was fun. So there is a theory that if you really want to be famous or, or if you see somebody starting to get famous, you can tell if they'll be a superstar based on color. Have you heard about this? No. So when a singer comes out and they start to like kind of pop off or whatever, they can go one of two ways. They can either do well or not do well, or they can become a superstar, right? So you have like a, Olivia Rodrigo. I would say she went superstar. Right. What's her color? Uh, you had Billie Eilish, superstar. Beyonce, superstar. Kim Kardashian, superstar. But then you have like, well, I don't want to shade anybody. <laughs> but, no, you know, people like, on their way. People on their way. On Maybe their they way. haven't yeah. hit the supernova right. status yet. Well, the theory is that if you, if you brand yourself with a color, you are kind of brainwashing people to think of you when they see that color. Taylor Every Swift they red. see that color, Taylor Swift red. Olivia Rodrigo it's purple. Red. Yes, uh, Kim Kardashian, nude. Oh. 
Uh, Billy uh, Eilish blue? Green. Oh. So if you look at it, so now like they start to slowly put this color in everything they do, right? Whether it's in their hair or their clothes or their albums or whatever. But uh. then they st then they start to do brand deals or they start to put out products. So like Kim Kardashian, she could put out Beats. Oh, and you know, e They're if nude. I showed you a little Beats pill or whatever and it was nude, colored, and like, what celebrity is this? You'd be like, Kim Kardashian. Uh, Same thing with the purple. You look a little purple. She did make nude happen. So they associate with a specific color. Right. So that way you're in the real world and every time you see that color, you think of that celebrity. Uh, so it kind of like brainwashes you into literally thinking about this person every day, uh, every time you see this color. Wow. And when a celebrity does it right, they become superstars. So yeah, Taylor Swift red, Beyonce silver, you know, Kim Kardashian nude. It's crazy. Chef Ty pink. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Pink. And, and now she's going blue. Pink didn't work. <laughs> now she's, now blue. she's going blue. Now she's going blue. Yeah. But then I started thinking about it. I went back into my brain and I was thinking about the former pop stars or former singers. And it's like, yeah, if they didn't have a color, they didn't really pop. Where are they now? Where are they now? Lady Gaga, baloney. What color would you be? <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't you have a baloney dress? Steak. I'm just saying. Baloney yes. dress? I just love her. I'm a monster. What can I say? You are. Pause up. Pause up. So You're yeah, a monster. People look oh, yeah. at Let me know in the comments. Do you notice any okay, celebrities yeah. coming out trying to make a color their thing? Because, like, how many colors are left? Are there only allowed to be, like, 12 superstars in the world? Do you know what I mean? Probably at a time. That's That Whoa. might be part of the, Alum the Illuminati. Alum <laughs> <laughs> the Illuminati. Right. Because don't you have to kill someone yeah. to get in? You got to kill the color. Whoa. Oh. Who was purple before? Well, no. way, way before Prince, I think. Oh. oh. Ew. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. And oh Prince, my God. Is, Prince is, was really a huge proponent of warning us about the war on our minds. <gasps> and uh, evidently, he got killed for it because he was trying to warn people about the dangers of the internet. Michael Jackson, silver, <gasps> right? Whoa. Mm. The glove, the moonwalk. And moon now walk. Beyonce, silver. <gasps> oh my God. Whoa. I will say, though, kind of a creepy story is I have a buddy that's in music and he does a few other things. <laughs> And one of his like idols, when he was very early in his career, he reached out, he shared some of his music with him. And the guy literally said, dude, you are incredibly talented, but unfortunately, until a very close person in your life passes away, you will never achieve stardom. What? What? And a couple years later, that person's grandma died. <gasps> Where are they now? blew the fuck up. Who what? is it? I can't tell you. How'd she die? I don't remember. This was like 10, this was like probably 15 years Wait, ago I'm when so, he told me Are this. you trying to say he killed the person? No, he didn't kill them, but the person died. But I'm this sweet. guy said he confirmed, because he's a pretty well-known dude, that until someone very close to you dies, you cannot achieve the ultimate stardom. What? I don't know. Do it. Do with it what you will. I'm I don't know. sick. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to well, have to go pee. On that note, speaking of icons who will never die, let's get <laughs> Let's get to a recap. Lights, camera, action. Riley's recap is about to happen. Oh, yeah. uh, oh. Recap. <laughs> <laughs> On today's episode of the Shane Dawson podcast, pregnant woman Elizabeth Gordon is here. I did it. She is with <laughs> child growing a penis. Maybe. Okay. Uh, we also learned about fruit booters. Those. Uh, <laughs> oh, hey, right, right. hey! I didn't say that. No, 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 no! You have to bleep because <laughs> YouTube will demonetize you. Oh, oh right, 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 right. to the editor. <laughs> yeah. Lizzie sold dead frogs to people. Uh, Psychopath what? alert! What? Elizabeth will try to sell you something that's already dead, and that's how you know she's off. You're welcome. Um, oh, Jared lit a uh, library on fire. Uh, oh. 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 oh okay. Uh -huh. I'm just going through headlines in my head, you know? Like, I don't want to be too offensive. Um, no, be, be very offensive. This yeah, is the episode go there, for go it. There. Yeah. No. What? Uh, Do uh, it. Fire crotch sets fire to the library. Nice. <laughs> What's that? Jared, do you read my mind? I can say it because I'm a fire crotch. Is fire crotch offensive? Yes. It's because if you're we're not twins. a fire crotch. Yes, I am. Ginger no, is. Not. If you are not a fire oh, crotch. Right. She's really like a woke. She is the, the leader of the ginger community. Yes. And she Woo. feels isolated and unheard. Yes. Chris we're... is a Scientologist. <gasps> no. <gasps> no. Chris is touting around as a Scientologist. And now <laughs> we you. all know the only reason 
he isn't really in is is because he's also a fruit booter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not even fucking play, guys. Cup noodles has us all shit. Okay. Now that is fucked up. I yeah. never in my wildest dreams would have imagined cup of noodles is actually cup noodles. You jacked off guys at the clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Gay guys at club alert. Well, no, I'm sure there's still guys out there jerking other people off against the walls in West uh, Hollywood. Wow. Wait, so like in the pants or dick out? Like for In like, the yeah. pants. No, oh. the dick out will get you the check marks. <laughs> uh, How do you jerk off in pants? Yeah. I mean... Sweatpants? Oh. It's it's kind of hot. Oh. You know, the challenge is yeah. nice. The chief get, sounds Do real. they just explode in their pants and for the rest of the yeah, night they're just what? rocking splooge? Is anyone coming? Uh, yeah. The Dollar Tree has pink sauce, guys. <laughs> Cheap trick. If you ever wanted pink sauce, now's the time to go get it. Rest in pink sauce. So mm. Soon to carry blue sauce I really and Shane Dawson merch. What? You said you'd be honored if For they your carried merch. your merch. Get your Shane oh. Dawson merch at ShaneDawsonMerch.com. Elizabeth and I seem to be the merch women. I can't stop wearing him. I love it. It's cozy. Uh, figure out how hard you want to get slapped before you yes. fuck oh. up. Yes. Slap Lizzie. Don't you dare, bitch. No. <laughs> Our friendship him. started and almost ended with me patting her Wait, ass. What? Lizzie, slap Rylan. And Rylan, you say how hard you like it. How hard would you like your slap, Rylan? Well, if we're having sex, you could go a little harder. Wow. But if we're just like friends saying hi to each other. It's like a tap. Okay, pretend you're having sex. I don't want to hit him that hard. <laughs> Whoa. It's pretty hard. You could hit me pretty hard if I we're know. having what? sex. I don't want to hit him at all, to I be honest. I didn't hit you hard. You've never asked. Whoa. Oh, so you do wow. slap him, though. Do you like being slapped? No. In the face, no. Where? Yeah, I feel where on the arm? A little nip slap? <laughs> <laughs> on the arm? Just hit me in the face. I don't want to. <laughs> hit him. Don't make me okay, hit him. Just don't. right here. He's somebody's child. <laughs> My, uh, you don't like to be slapped. Hold on. <laughs> Whenever I've slapped you on the butt, you go, ah, No, it's stop. different. Every time I walk my ass up these little stairs right here, he pokes my ass full. <laughs> oh, no, like, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about in the midst of it. And he if said, I give a no. slap, and he, he said, ah. You should be lucky I'm looking. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> and I'm like, you should be looking. I've been doing squats. Uh. A look is fine. A poke in no, the hole but is not in the fine. Mid, in the midst, if I do one of those, you literally go, ah. What do you mean? Yeah, like while he, you're hitting it, if you slap yeah. a cheek? You, is that what you're saying? Ah. So I, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about, if I'm being honest. That's going to leave a mark. <laughs> That's going to leave a mark. <laughs> All right, wrap the show. That means it's hard, huh? I do like to slap Joe and leave a mark on his skin. Where? Oh. On his butt. Oh. If he's just walking around. Is he okay with I, have you guys talked about how hard? Listen, <laughs> listen, we're not part of the BDSM community. We have no communication. I just be beating his ass, you know what oh. I'm saying? <laughs> I <laughs> have to go. go. <laughs> 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 All right, follow everyone else on social media. Everyone's links to their channels is in the description section below. Mm -hmm. And uh, make sure you get your Shane Dawson merch at ShaneDawsonMerch.com. Sandy, who's not here today, is being consistent on YouTube. You can also see yeah. Jared featured in those videos. Yeah. And yes. I have a vlog channel as well. No. See you guys later right here. Oh, wait. Listen on audio, and we'll be back here in two weeks. We love you very much. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was really good. Uh, well, there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed. I don't even know. I blacked out. I don't know. Was it a good show? <laughs> it, was, it was great. Uh, well, there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed. And we will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>